Can you require 129? Still coming in the crowd. Nice for a break of throw. Still on. Not now. 93. Nice Richard setup though. Feenstra might only get one dart of the double here. Well, only going to get one dart of the bull. Bullseye then. 50. Not a million miles Martin away. Not, not on target either. And Schindler for an early break. Double 18. Confidently done. Martin Schindler. And the home favourite has an early advantage here in Risa. 3 2. This will be a showstopper. Bull should be his first target. Well, Trevor 19 then for the bull. Stay down. That's yes, great setup up play now. Richard Vitra, I feel now, but the way that Martin Schindler's playing, he has to take this 1 4 4 out. Yeah, and it's not going to go. He's going to leave it handy, but he's relying on the German to miss, and that's something that he hasn't done yet. Martin, you require 40. Tops then to go within one of victory. And Game Tops, he delivers. Play. Clinical Martin. on the outer ring so far. Seven flag. Martin, you require 106. This for the match then, 106. Double 18. No. Veinstra. It's a great last start Richard, again, though, from Schindler. Veinstra to stay alive, needs 116. He's got to hit the treble 19 here, and he doesn't. So Schindler is back 56. for double 10. Martin, you require 20. And a place in the quarter final. The, cra the crowd rise in Risa. Oh, he's hit the wrong double, but it's not the worst miss in the world. So just move up the board. Double four, the target. And it's a double double out for Martin Schindler, who sends the Risa crowd into raptures. Yeah, well, if he can get a leg on the board here, that will calm him down. Double seven. 74. Danny, you require 170. Well, we've seen it a couple of times this weekend. We might see it again. Danny Nopper, bullseye. 145. Nathan, you require 14. Well, that would have been a Mike Tyson blow to the stomach there for Nathan Aspinall. Oh. 92. Just on top of the barrel. Seven. Too much. Danny, you require 25. Genuinely could be 3 0 either way, this. As Aspinall's had darts to win every leg. Nine. Nathan so is Danny Nopper. Well, you feel if Nathan's going to get back into this match, he does really need to take this out. Doesn't want to lose throw again. Oh, that's awkward. Three. Danny requires 16. 11 darts at double for Nathan Aspinall in this game. He has not hit a single one. Game and Danny Nopper is taking Danny advantage. Nopper. And. It has to be a particularly purple patch, you would think. Actually, it does. Danny Nopper is not playing well. Danny Nopper's missing a fair few doubles. Nathan's had darts to win every single leg. It could be 4 0 the other way. Nathan Aspel starts hitting his doubles. He's got a chance of turning this around. Is he going to get his first leg on the board? 28. With an Nathan 11 darts. 56. Possibly. Yes. Yes, he has. Nathan Aspinall. 54 tops. No need to go double double in this position. Got the luxury of just setting 54. up. Danny Nopper with match darts incoming on double top to beat Nathan Aspinall for the second time this year. Did it in Den Bosch on the World Series at the start of the year. Nathan Aspinall. Nearly signing Daniel off with a 40. brilliant setup shot, but I think he will be signing off. Twenty. He's not done just yet. Nathan, you require sixty-two. Well, well, well. 
double 16 to make it 5-3. Big, big dart. Ooh. Story of his afternoon, I think, Dan. Oh, the Schindler finish. Double six, double four. Work for Martin to wrap up his game against Veinstra. And it's worked for Noppy as well. Well, Danny Nopper, salt in the wound there, finishes with an accidental double-double finish against a man who could not hit a double for the vast majority of the game. Someone would have got him pretty much level pegging with Hetter. But Damon just wants to have that feeling of holding his throw. Hasn't felt it yet. And that if he wants. doesn't massively help him. It's not guaranteed, is it? This could be a good layup. Oh, just straight the wrong side. Then you go a little bit of a let off there for Hetta. It teens. There's a great first start. Beautiful. Now looking down the board yeah. at double seven that's for a one two two. And that's how you hold your throw. Then two dark combination here. Mm, now coming down the board. Oh, he's gone double double. And he got the first one, but not the second one. So a big moment in this game for Hetta. Might take something like this. Been so tight. Oh, he's not going two balls. He's going to try and find the 60. What a dart, Damon Hetta. Double top to lead 5-4. Both players have had a chance to win the ninth leg. And so... Hits double 19 for the second time in the leg to lead 5 4. Gonna have to go. He's left double 17. Hetter needs the treble and doesn't get it. So Searle coming back for the match and a place in the quarterfinals. Straight at it. Getting smaller. Nice score. And his chances of reaching the quarterfinals have just got a little bit smaller, Ryan Searle. Damon Hetta couldn't take out the 120 in the previous leg. But he does take out the 80 to save himself. And his three match darts survived by the Aussie. Ryan Searle must now hold throw in the last leg decider. But not decent enough. 1-2-1 then for the match. Doesn't need to go the bull route. Gets Seven the ball anyway six. and sets things up nicely. Damon Hetta persevered on the 19s of that previous setup shot. And ultimately, he cannot finish 176. Oh, Ryan, you require 45. So more match darts for Ryan Searle. Double top the target. And double top is found. It's another brilliant game this weekend involving Ryan Searle and another 6 5 win for heavy metal. And the German giant is struggling early on here. Well, he's already seen his very good friend and fellow countryman, Martin Schindler, get through. Where he is, the Number one ranked player in Germany at this moment in time, Gabriel oh. Clemens. Perhaps he's just Richard feeling the pressure a little bit. Mm. Top send for Doby for 2 0. Yeah, Topsy delivers. Two looks at a double. Two doubles first. hit. Okay. Goes in. 16. Doby's almost there. It's a treble, and he gets one. That to leave. Double 18 for a 4 0 lead. Just inside. First start, he's missed it a double. Well, that's a good first start there from Gabriel Clemens. Got to hit this. 42. Well, Chris Doby then, Chris he's going to come back 18. for yet another break of throw. Going straight for it yeah, and gets it. Christen. Well, it's and another leg that's probably first. taken longer than it yeah. should have done. 44. Has had to get to this stage of the tournament. He'll be bitterly disappointed with this performance. Well, Doby was going to do it in style, but he'll leave himself on a 13 darter. Clemens potentially his last darts here. 
Well, that's defiant, isn't it? A max from Clemens, but it might be the last three throws here if Doby can hit double eight. Double four. One left. And one he takes. Chris Doby shakes his head. Absolute disappointment for Gabriel Clemens. Never he threw my darts that were 18 grams that he uses now. And he hit a 180 with my darts. And I give them back here. Give me my darts back. I don't want you jinxing them. I mean, even an 18 gram dart, which is what you threw, that's at the lighter end of the spectrum, isn't it? It, it, it is very much so, yeah. 55. I've seen Ryan Searle win today. He throws 34 gram darts. Double 16. He's found. Some plus check out for Luke Humphreys. Takes the opening leg. The match play in his first year, Stephen Bunting, which is some going. Bunting eyeing up the big fish. It is on! 127. Luke, you acquire 150. Well, I feel that Humphreys maybe needs to take this out. He's got a dart, double 18. 132. Width of a wire away. Advantage bunting now. Yes, he has to use Stephen a dart up to get to the double, but he'll have two darts minimum at a double to take a 2-1 lead with a break of throw. Double top it'll be. Game double top it is, 14 darts. Stephen Bunting Stephen leads Bunting. the world number one by two legs to one. Well, this is a very, very professional performance so far from Stephen Bunting. Sat on double 18 after only 12 darts. 26. Stephen, you require 36. Gonna split it. Oh, that's not what he wanted. Well, that got a little bit messy there for Bunting. And he's still stuck on double seven. Double 18. Oh, this time Humphreys takes the 150. But tell you what, looks an exciting team, doesn't it? 134. Look, Luke Humphreys and Colin Lloyd would be an exciting team. Luke Humphreys and anybody would be an exciting team. Well, you were doing all right there until you said anybody. 59. <laughs> Luke should require 85. Well, he's Peter. starting to put the squeeze on now, Dan, isn't he? He is. And double five makes he's it 4 2. He's not Luke firing Humphreys. on all cylinders here, Luke Humphreys. A trebleless visit. low on that treble 20. He can't afford a trebleless visit here. He's not going to get one. Oh, interesting. Thought he'd have gone down to the 19s. He's taken a gamble. It's worked out okay. Yeah, I totally agree 65. with you. I thought he was going to do that. But Stephen, you require 79. Treble 19 then for double 11. 20 for tops. He's going to get a dart at tops. Game oh, that's a great leg. dart there from Stephen, Stephen Bunting. Bunting. Right. So Sulevic is a former winner of this title, and nobody throws like Mensur. They certainly don't. Sixty. Luke now, require 138. Bunting's already taken out a 146 this weekend. Took it out to win the match against Mickey Unterbuchner. Can he repeat the feat? If he can, he becomes favourite, and he's done this a lot. Stopping, having a drink, a big moment in this game, a huge opportunity, Stephen, and he's slowing things down to compose himself. Did this at the Masters, he went all the way to the title. Might pull it out the bag again. For his second 146 of the weekend, what a shot, Bunting! Took his time, took his chance, and he might take out the world number one. Well, that was absolutely sensational, wasn't it? I mean, Stephen Bunting might be thinking to himself, well, listen, that's payback for earlier when you took out the 150 on me. Starts from here for the bullet to beat the world champ. When he beat him in the Masters, he went all the way to the title. His first major in PDC darts. And he beat him here and go and claim a first European Tour title. The bullet should get two match darts, but there will be pressure.
big pressure. Number 13. 133. Well, that's a nice little pressure shot there from Luke Humphreys. Stephen, you require 44. But you'd like to think Stephen Bunton will get two darts. A winning double. Double 16. The world champion is beaten. The bullet conquers Humphreys. And he is through to the quarterfinals of the International Darts Open. Good last start here. Chad House could do with a big visit of his own. That's a nice start. We stick another one alongside it. No, he can't. Across here. Only needs one treble to get to a finish. 19s it will be. For a break opportunity at the bullseye. Across to go in front for the first time. 102. Which you require 108. Methouse has been allowed six visits to the board to win his first two legs of this match. He may have to get this done in the fifth visit. He's got a dart to do it at double 16. Game which he takes, the and there's a celebration from Madhouse. Ninety-six. Cross has been pushed here. This is a potential opening for Ed House. Oh, if you could fill this up. Is that a blocker? Can he squeeze another one in? Oh, he can. He can. He holds the pose like he's just driven one through the covers for four at Lords. Oh, great dart. Climbing the ladder to double top. He's having to move over. Oh, what a shot that is from Rob Cross. Richie Edhouse produces the only maximum of this game so far to pile the pressure on the two-time European champion. And Cross finds the biggest checkout of the match so far. European Tour is the land of opportunity. Can Richie Edhouse take his opportunity here in Risa? Well, this is beautiful again. This is absolutely magnificent from Edhouse. Another potential 13-dart leg on the way. He keeps playing like this, like he did against Michael Smith. You better beat Richie Edhouse 6-1 or 6-0, because by the time it gets to leg 8, 9, 10, he's going to be Richie playing world-class stuff. It's exactly what he did against Michael Smith. Game Brilliant stuff. Another 13 data Richie for Madhouse, Edhouse. Richie Edhouse, and Voltage Take is on the brink. We'll have hope now. Oh. Oh, that is superb, Rob Cross. 180, Richie requires 170. Rob Cross, the 180 might change his fortunes. It's another brilliant visit from Ed, Ruby Ed House. Double 18 for the match, unless Cross can take this out. It's only going to be one at tops, but he's hit this a couple of times. In the last few legs to hold his throw. He needs it again here to stay alive and he's missed it. Richie, Richie Edhouse, his moment is now. The rank outsider has Game taken out another huge name. Madhouse Richie beats the two-time European champion. And he once again throws a personal best average on the Euro Tour. You know, Price has been in both the Euro Tour semi-finals so far, but not yet made it to a final. And one six one won't go here, but you need a treble, which he does. He's in with a great chance of making this two 0 Well, the one thing that Gerwin Price will not do is give up. Oh, he just him. gives him a reminder. Double 18 for 2 0. Yes, on the second leg, we've got it for Chester. Third leg is going through first. Well, he would, I think, in all honesty, be expecting to play Luke Humphreys in the, uh, in the quarterfinals, at uh, semi finals. Semi finals. 140. Well, we had a Cameron Menzies impression there from Ricardo Piotrzewski with the facial expressions. 83. It looked like one of yours, that Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> 
40. Two two here. Still to come. Final game could be a cracker as well. Cameron Menzies against Ross Smith. Fifty-eight. Ross Smith has been in outstanding form on the Pro Tour. He's reached three three semi-finals already. One hundred and twenty-one. Well, the way he's playing, there's no reason why he can't. Seventy-one nil. Big eighteen to leave tops. 81. All Kesey Price can do is. Try to score as much as he can to put some pressure on that tops. We mentioned 60. the hit rate of Piotrescu. Can he keep it going here? He's 100% in this two from two. Now then, this is a big dart. Yeah, from the sixth leg, Ricardo Piotrescu. So make it good. But Ricardo Piotrescu there, we've already seen Gezi Price hit four on 80s. Ricardo there just hits his first, but he's still behind, 100 points behind in this leg. One, two, one then, to go back in front. Nice first start. Just checking Piotrescu's score there, just to see does he do oh nice start big call for Tox 1-2-1 one, one. that was a calculated gamble Piotrescu nods and offers the fist bump fair play but fantastic dart crowd is seriously getting treated in this match 180s big finishes big averages Little ice, little icicles in the crowd. Ice man fans. 99. Don't you recall 109? 109 then for a break of throw and it's on. It's very much on now. Tops yeah. for the 109. And the champion is in no mood to be messed about today. Back to back Tum Plus checkouts. He's now throwing for the match. As it stands, this is going to be right up there. We're not quite going to reach the top of the list, but it's not going to be far away. He's 81 points away from a 6-3 victory. And for the seven that will remain after our final game this afternoon, who are dreaming of a first tour win, you're going to have to beat this fella. Double 12 for an 11 dart leg. Right on the wire. And he gets it. Gerwin Price has just laid down the marker of all markers. 115.74. I think the thing with Ross is he is a major champion. And he wants to go up there and play well. I know everybody wants to go up there and play well. Of course they do. But when you're a major champion, you put a big target on your back. 96. But when you're only averaging 82 at this stage of a tournament, you start questioning yourself. That's not the place to start questioning yourself. Do it behind closed doors. Don't do it up there, especially in front of an opponent. <laughs> Cameron Menzies. What do you mean eight left? You've scored 120, you're at 128. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous from Cameron Menzies, who has managed to throw three perfect darts to take out 128 and had two separate inquests about what the heck was going on in the middle of it. 161. So Ross Smith is going to come back to try and tidy up this 81 to make it 3 all. Trouble 15, I would think. Go to the 16s. Now the bullseye. 56. Coming in requires 71. For the first break of throw in this game. Great dart, double 16. Doesn't like it. Yeah, but he'll love that one. Government. Finds the double, finds the break. Tomorrow's Ross Cameron Smith Cameron. once again must come yeah. from behind. He was 5 2 down to Willie O'Connor and squeezed past him yesterday.
Well, it'll be interesting right to see what Ross Smith does here. Which way is he going to go for this finish for the 61? Well, see, now he's got a waste of dart down. Only one going to get one dart in the double. And that's not enough. It's rarely been enough in this game. Ross Smith. Nothing is going right for him. Double seven. 21. Okay, well, some things are going right for Ross Smith, turns out, as Cameron Menzies just decides Ross to have a little personal therapy session at the end of the hockey after missing those darts for a 5-2 lead. He knows that was a golden opportunity. Yeah, well. it's on the seventh leg, Ross Smith. Yeah, I think, it, and also, Dan, with that, he shows all of his emotion up there. He's showing his opponents that emotion, which gives them confidence. He's back in the leg. He might be back in the match, or he might be out of the tournament. Double 20. Match dart, Ross Smith. 80. Coming here to require 93. Double, double. No, he's changing his mind. I mean, there are plenty of options. That one does not work for him. More match darts, Ross Smith. This has not Ross been a case of Ross 32. Smith picking Cameron Menzies' pocket. This is Cameron Menzies emptying his own pockets out onto the ground to allow Ross Smith to just take his wallet. And that's exactly what he's done. He has come from 4-2 down to win the last four legs. And Ross Smith... <laughs> Gets a big old cuddle of congratulations. But I think Cameron Menzies is the one who needs the cuddle after that. Should have been thrown for the match. Ross Smith follows. Oh, is Ross Smith now favourite for this game? 21. He is, unless Cammy can take this out. Which he can't. 97. Rightly so, he's getting a little bit agitated with himself. That might fire him up a bit, though. Double 12. Yeah, Ross Smith leads this Ross game of darts for the first Vegas, time. First. He has won three consecutive legs. But that one, a 13-darter, is Ross Smith's best leg of the match.